Right. Uh, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to speak. But let me start by saying that it's, uh, it's not just about the opportunity, because, you know, it's, um, as far as I'm concerned, money follows money. If, they, if it doesn't work, they, you shouldn't come to Africa. So it's a different message today. So the message I want to get across is that the Africa I see and talk about today is one from the Africa you saw and knew about four or five years ago. There's a complete shift in paradigm. And when I say that, what I mean is this, is that when you look at the macroeconomic environment of Africa today, it's a continent, yes, that six out of the 10 fastest economies are in Africa. Seven out of the 10 in the, between now and 2015 will be from Africa. When you look at the debt to GDP ratio, if you take Nigeria for example, it's less than 20%. When you compare that to Europe, it's about 80%. Compare that to United States, it's 74%. Compare that to the rest of the world, it's much, much, much lower. When you look at the deficit, budget to deficit, if you look at Nigeria, it's less than 2%. Look at the, uh, the, the uh, budget deficit. So we are in a re situation where, for the first time, there's a shift in paradigm. And what I mean by that is that when you look at the world today, countries controlling 75% of the world's GDP today have different issues. They are grappling with sovereign debt crisis. They're grappling with fiscal consolidation, high budget uh, we, we deficit, low return environment, and low growth environment. When you compare that to the rest of Africa today, it's completely different. I'm saying that the case for Africa is completely different from what you have seen in the past. And when you're looking at Nigeria, for example, investors look for four things. They need the capital to invest. They need the technology to invest. They need to have the raw material, if they're looking at the real sector of the economy, and they need to have the market, and of course, the return on investment. I talk about a country today that is rich in terms of natural resources, that has 84 million hectares of land, where almost everything can grow, and where today only 40% of that is cultivated, a country that is accounted, that is responsible, top, that's the top one producer in eight commodities in the world, top two producer in three commodities in the world, and top three producer in seven commodities in the world. A country that has about 44 solid minerals in commercial quantity. A country that's the top 10 producer of crude oil, top seven in gas. So, and when you talk about the market itself, 170 million people growing at 3% per annum, a country that will be the third largest nation in the world by 2070 after India and China, a country that is part of the one billion in Africa, a country that has access to the D8 of one billion people, a country that has access to other economies in the world. So the market is there. When you talk about return on investment today, when you look at according to ONTAG, the report that was issued, two African countries are in the top four globally. Nigeria's return, average return is 35.5% compared to about 7% average in the world today. When you look at the, so the conditions are different and are right. Money follows money, it's not charity. It is that the opportunities are there today. We are in a different world today. And we are seeing investment flow into those. So in terms of investment opportunities, yes, there's investment in the area of infrastructure as you heard from the presidents. There's infrastructure, uh, investment in the area of whether it's agriculture, whether it's solid minerals, whether it's uh, oil and gas. But more importantly, the new story in Africa today is that Africa that used to be a country that exported raw materials and jobs, and today is a country that has a continent that has a different policy, which is about value addition. So we're looking at the industrial products from any of these raw materials to create jobs in the, in the, in, in the continent and export process and finish goods. So the opportunities there are significant. It's only in Nigeria today that you will say, for example, someone set up a cement factory in four years, profit before taxes, $1 billion. You listed, if you look at your list today, the richest man in Africa, according to you, has about $16.1 billion. That is the pipeline investment he's going to invest in Nigeria in the next four years. He just announced $9 billion into petrochemical industry. Every penny he made, being the richest man in Africa, he made it in Nigeria. So I say to you, I am, it's, a, it's an unknown secret, which is now out, out there. It's, a, it's not a case for investing in Africa. 
It's not a case of investing in Nigeria. It's a matter of when and how. Thank you. Doing business in Africa. You can't afford to be without Africa Investor.